Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, so, I didn't vlog last week and I actually really missed putting a vlog up which is so weird because as I say I had the actual fear of vlogging for so long. Anyway, so this week is very chilled. Um, I'm at home today filming a blazer video so I need to sort that out and that will already be live. Um, and then I have a few other things on. Sun uh, Thursday I'm in London and also on the weekend I'm in London for a friend's 30th and the rest of the days I'm at home just working I think. Um, I have an Ocado order coming what's the time it's currently half past 10 so any time from now for the next hour so i'm basically only just set up for filming um because i want to film an igtv today and also a youtube video so i'm going to set up for the youtube video might curl my hair because i'm not really vibing with this bun right now and um then yeah i'll crack on with the day so i'm gonna get that sorted <laughs> So this is how I start sorting out my styling videos. So this is obviously one on blazers. So I've pulled out all of my favourite ones and I'm going to split them into categories. So blacks um, and then I have thicker and more kind of like wool ones which kind of doubles as um, jackets and blazers. And then I have check ones. <laughs> this is making me realise I have a serious problem. And then I have this one which is from Zara. But this one I'm going to kind of put into a category of... Um, I would say like dad blazer, kind of like oversized boyfriend blazer, that kind of vibe. Um, and this video is definitely making me realise I have way too many blazers because this is not even all of them. But I'm going to go through and kind of just talk through each one. And yeah, so that is what my plan is for the next few hours. And then also, I'll take you around here. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do that um, for the next, well I'm going to wait for my avocado delivery and then I'm going to do that. And then I need to film styling um, IGTV as well. So I thought I'd show you what I got. Um, this is all Johnny's, but as I say, we eat completely differently. Um, Johnny follows the keto diet, I think it says. Keto? Yeah, keto diet. Whereas I just kind of eat whatever. Um, but as I say, this week I'm trying to go pescatarian. I actually didn't get that much, but I do have some stuff in the fridge because I did an order um, on Saturday or Friday. Um, and it's now Monday. But I'll just run you through what I got as a top up for um, this week. I have lemons because I drink a lot of lemon and ginger water. Um, I have spinach because I put this in wraps and salads and smoothies. I have this haddock from Waitrose, which is literally my favourite in the whole world. It's so good. Then I got some tofu to put in like stir fries and stuff. I'm trying not to eat much meat this week, so um, I can put this in instead of chicken. Peppers for salads and wraps. Um, apples to snack on and also for my gin and tonics. I have some ginger because um, we like... Oops. We like ginger tea and um, mushrooms for stir fries and to go with dinner. Broccoli for lunches and dinners. Um, I have tonic, which is my favourite tonic. It's Fever Tree Light. Um, it's so nice for gin. And then I have frozen pineapple because I, meant, I bought all the ingredients for a smoothie and forgot to get pineapple, which is really annoying. So frozen pineapple. Then um, this is Chinese Five Spice. Is it going to focus? I basically had this in a mindful chef box and it was so 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 nice so i'm thinking i want to start marinating stuff with it like maybe the tofu um or if i do eat chicken whatever i can marinate the chicken and have it in stir fries um pepper because we need pepper for the house i'm going to make a quick smoothie um because i'm a little bit hungry again actually i think i'm hormonal so i feel like i'm in that period where i'm just always hungry um or always thinking about food let me know if you guys get like that i get it really bad um so I'm doing some odd jobs. I've been cleaning out certain bits of my office that just get like completely ignored <laughs> and um, I am just folding laundry and doing laundry and all that jazz. So I'm gonna make a quick smoothie. So let me kind of tidy up here and I'll show you what I do. Okay, my battery is flashing, <laughs> um, but I just use a Nutribullet and this is a recipe that I, one of the YouTubers I watch does it. <laughs> So I need half a cup of water. I literally just eyeball everything of coconut water. So I guess, uh, sorry, not half a cup, one cup. 
I've got that, and then you do frozen mango, frozen pineapple, coconut oil, and ginger. Um, I'm only saying that now because I definitely think I'm gonna die. Some pineapple. And then mango. And then I'll just put in a little bit of coconut oil. Okay, so yesterday my camera died when I was making that smoothie and then um, I literally just spent the whole day editing and filming and sorting out loads of stuff. So yeah, today's a new day. I'm going to spend the day with you guys, um, show you what I'm making to eat. I've got quite a few parcels that just arrived this morning we can unbox together. And yeah, so I'm going to go make some eggs actually. I'm absolutely starving right now. I, I think I'm definitely coming on my period. Um, also, this is so random, but like I crave eggs so much on my period and before it and, and like around the time of it But I'm never really fussed for eggs any other time of the month, which is so odd So, um, yeah, I know my period is coming when I start craving eggs and Um, also I should probably say the reason I say I'm making scrambled eggs because I'm so hungry is because I never eat breakfast Um, not unless I'm out for breakfast or unless I am hungover <laughs> I'm just never really hungry in the morning. Like if I am hungry, I'll have like toast or um, something small, but yeah, not usually on a weekday. So I just put three eggs into a pan and I'm going to put a little bit of salt and then I'm going to put it on some bread. Toast, not bread. Okay, so this is my breakfast. Um, I think I put a little bit too much butter in the pan actually because my eggs have kind of gone funny colour. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to eat this and then I will chat to you guys in a bit. Okay, <laughs> parcel time. I needed those eggs. Oh my god. I was lagging earlier. Okay, so um, this is all stuff I've been <sighs> bad lighting. All stuff I've been buying recently. Let me turn this up. Um, online. So I've got some vitamins actually because I kind of have ran out of all my vitamins apart from um, vitamin C, and I feel like I'm just getting a bit blur. So I ordered some from my vitamins oh okay i've just realized this is my protein but like they're vitamins interesting i didn't know that well anyway i picked up some vitamins from there so i have um you go girl <laughs> vitamins which are multivitamin containing b6 and b12 so then i have these ones which are called go with your gut which are a bacteria um capsule so I'm pretty sure they just contain all the good bacterias um, I have vitamin B12 because of energy and stuff like that. And then I also have these ones which are called Wakey Wakey, which are, I can't remember, multivitamin for the morning basically. So a few new vitamins there to start taking. Okay, and then um, if you guys remember on the last vlog, I showed you that I got these, um, the flower subscription service from Johnny. So another one of them has come, but also I picked up the vase from the company as well because um, it just means that all of my flowers that I get from them will fit perfectly into this and also this is so nice Imagine this with like some white hydrangeas um, So this week's flowers, let's see what they are <clears throat> Okay, so these are, I can't pronounce that, <laughs> but this is what they look like Very pretty, nice and colourful So I'm going to put these together and then we'll go upstairs and yeah, I'll show you some other stuff I got Be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely We could be gazing at the stars But now it feels just like I wandered off into a room And closed the door behind me I never gave the key to you Even though I wanted to okay, So this is what they look like They're so pretty um, And I'm obsessed with this vase I think it's so nice Need to clean this shelf because my other flowers have all dropped on it. But um, yeah, it's so pretty. Love that. Okay, so yeah, I was meant to be in. Um, I was shooting some pictures today with Liv, but 
We're going to London on Friday and I'm also into London tomorrow. So I thought I would take today and just get um, caught up with editing and all that jazz. Um, so what have I bought? I bought some skincare. This is um, from, I don't know, Feel Unique, I think. Um, it's been one of those like weeks, not weeks because it's only Tuesday, but it's been like the last few days, it's been um, one of those times, you know when you just kind of keep doing loads of random online orders and then, um, yeah, you realise you don't actually need to buy any of that, but <laughs> it's been one of those weeks. So I picked up this, um, is the Alpha, 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 yeah, Alpha Liquid Gold, um, with glycolic acid. I'm not quite sure how to use it, but I've heard a lot of good things about this. I think you kind of use it as like a toner. Apply liquid gold onto cleanse skin each alternate evening. Moisten cotton pad with solution and apply um, to face, neck and decolage. And skin is touched. Yeah, so I think it's basically like a toner that's kind of meant to be like resurfacing in a way. Um, so yeah. I'm just trying out, not a lot, but I'm kind of like mixing up what I'm using. And I do think my skin is looking a little bit nicer. This is literally the most annoying thing in the world. And then I have one spot, where is it? Here on my chin, uh, sorry, my cheek, and then here, um, it's a tiny little one. But I think this is a mix of bad diet over the last, well, too much alcohol and also um, period. So yeah, I'll give this a go, let you know how I get on. And then I did a little Zara order. So, I know, I ordered two things, I remember. So I ordered a dress, which is very premature, <laughs> but I really, really loved it. And I also ordered um, this cardigan. I already have it in the green um, and I loved it. And they came out with the cream color. I think one of you guys, um, or someone tagged me in it on Instagram um, of them trying it on, so I have to get it. But yeah, so it looks like this. And then it has a little like tie on the side and you kind of just make it like an oversized cozy tie cardigan so I got that this spring dress which I just fell in love with it's blue and it's a midi dress it's got a shirt collar actually quite a nice big shirt collar which is cute and um, it has kind of like puff sleeves as well so when you kind of like push them up it's going to give you a nice big puff little waist tie and yeah it's just a very very simple dress but I thought when it gets a little bit warmer um I'm just so excited for dresses and trainers and I just can't wait so yeah, that's probably like my first spring purchase of the year. Hey, it's um, a little bit later. <laughs> um, I've just been editing this vlog back and I'm kind of sick of staring at my computer screen. So I'm gonna make um, my ginger and lemon tea. I'll show you how I do that. It's Lydia Millen's recipe. I just stole it and I love it. Um, yeah, I'm editing this vlog back and I'm like, oh my God, I actually have such a big double chin. So I think I've already explained to you guys, but I'm getting, I'm going to Paris in like two weeks. And then the day after I get back from that, I'm going for a chemical peel, um, which is like the full blown, like, um, it's like a week long thing, a process. And it's meant to really help with my pigmentation. So I can't have any filler until a month after that. And my filler is actually really, really wearing off. Um, I know that I've said that now, so some of you trolls are gonna comment down below and start telling me how ridiculous my face looks and all this stuff, but whatever, carry on if it makes you happy. Um, but yeah, I just was like, oh my God, I have an actual double chin, which is something I've always had, but because I get chin filler it, and, and also jaw filler, it kind of like tightens all this up, but obviously it's wearing off now. Um, so yeah, you guys will have to see my double chin for the next two months till April <laughs> but anyway I'm going to make some um tea okay so for this you need 200 grams of ginger um I like to peel the skin off and then I grate it and then you need six lemons um I think the recipe is actually like you can do it like 100 grams of ginger and three lemons but because Johnny and I both drink this over the next few days we just make double Get into the boil sieve it put the lemons in and I just put it in like a container in the fridge and I can either make it into a tea or I can just drink it as a morning shot. So I'm gonna crack on with that now. I could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. We could be gazing at the stars, but now it feels just like I wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me. I never gave the key to you. Even though I wanted to I should be trying something new But now my body's sick I'm tired of dwelling in the dark It's just that my heart can't take it I didn't know what it would cost me When I let you go I feel 
feel alone And I'm just singing mm, mm, It should have been you Another time, another place I just know Okay, so six lemons are squeezed into here. Um, the ginger is in here. I'm gonna bring it to the boil and then let it sit for 45 minutes and then I'll sieve it and then add this. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna bring this to the boil, wait until um, that's happened, then I'm gonna go upstairs and do some work. But now I need to clean up all of this mess. I could be driving to your place, but now the crown is shaking. Could be a face, but it feels like it will never go away until we make up. Good morning guys, um, I have not spoken to you in a few days, basically this vlog ended up being quite a homey vlog and then today I was meant to run up to London and do some fun things um, and then I was meant, to, well, I was meant to do something in the morning with H&M or go to like the showroom and then I was meant to go on a shoot, oh, this focus is so annoying, um, but yeah it's been literally tipping it down and it's meant to be like a 100% chance of rain all day so London was cancelled so now I'm going to film today and then I'm going to just end the vlog tonight because it's Friday. Um, so my change of plan means that I'm going to go into town where I live, um, I'm going to grab a little bit of brunch with Liv, Liv and Liv, <laughs> um, and then we're going to come back and we're going to film a video for our channels, so that will be a nice day, still keeping it nice and productive, just not what we had originally planned, um, I'm just so sick of this weather though, like spring needs to hurry up, <laughs> I'm so over it. I'm going to show you my outfit real quick. There's a work plan in. Um, I'm gonna show you my outfit real quick and then I will head off to brunch and show you what I get. So let me show you what I'm wearing. So I have this blazer on from Topshop that I picked up the other day. I really love it. Um, I do have another beige one, but I feel like this one's just a nicer color. It's a little bit more kind of like um, stony. Mm -hmm. Then I have a little old Zara knit. I have a Topshop belt and then I have these Topshop trousers, which I love. I feel like they're quite different for me, but I'm kind of vibing with them. I think they're really cool. I think they look quite chic. Um, I don't know if it's one of those things that I'll literally look back on and be like, why did I wear them? <laughs> but I do quite like them. And um, they are sold out, but there is definitely very similar ones on places like And Other Stories and that kind of thing. So I'll link a few down below. Um, but yeah, I just think, I think they're cute. I think I'll get quite a lot of wear out of them. And then I actually bought myself a pair of Converse's the other day. I don't know if I showed you this. I can't remember. Um, I'm still not 100% on them. I'm not sure if I just feel like a child. <laughs> but we will see. Um, yeah, so that's my outfit. And then I'm just going to take my little Chloe bag as well. This is so not rain appropriate, it's literally chucking it down, but yeah. So this is today's outfit. I'm going to head out for lunch at brunch. I'm not sure where we're going yet, but I am starving. Okay, so I've got my favourite, which is Egg Benedict and a little peppermint tea. And I'm with this one now. She's got this. <laughs> this looks delicious. Who's got, supposed okay, to have avocado. the shot? No. Hello. Okay, so we're back home. Um, I'm currently sat behind a ring light, if you're wondering why. <laughs> if you're wondering why I look so good. <laughs> um, yeah, the lighting is really nice because it is not giving us that today. I'm so glad we didn't go to London because it is actually like miserable. So we just got back home. We're about to set up for filming. We're going to film a um, question, answer, slash assumptions about the industry. So like the blogging world and YouTube and all that jazz. So that should be out next week if you want to see that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just crack on with this filming and then I'll probably chat to you later and um, I'm actually dying for a glass of wine already because it is Friday. <laughs> I haven't drunk wine all week. Do you have one when we finish today? Yeah, shall we actually? Yeah. I don't have any in the house though. Well, I have like a magnum of wine, but not <laughs> not normal wine. <laughs> we can go and get a bottle though and have a drink if you would like to. Yeah, we can. Okay. Um, anyway, I'm gonna crack on with filming so I will see you in a bit. Good evening, guys. Um, so, it's been a really lovely day. Um, I have not been very productive for this vlog, but it's been a lovely day. I went out for um, brunch, which I think is the last clip you guys would have seen. And then came back here, filmed, oh no, I think I filmed that. I'm not sure. But I filmed the video with Liv, which is super fun. And then we just literally chilled out for the last few hours. Very shiny. And um, caught up and had a really nice evening. So yeah, it's currently Friday night, but I thought, oops, I thought I would show you what I got from the White Company. I'm literally obsessed with their candles. Like they have the nicest stuff. So for the lounge, I always like to have a big one um, sitting on like our shelves, just because I think it scents the room really, really nicely. I actually did go in to try and get um, Fireside, which is my favorite scent. And it's 
Bloomin' limited edition and now it's sold out and now it's like gone and I'm actually gutted because if I had known that I would have stocked up so <laughs> I ended up going for one of their new ones which is called Wildflowers. These big candles are £60 um, which is a lot for a candle but they are very big and they do last a really long time and they really really scent out a room so this is what it looks like. Um, I haven't had this scent before but it smells gorgeous. There's something about this scent, I was in um, the white company of Liv and I was like this scent reminds me of my mum and my mum obviously lives in Scotland so like I never have her around me all the time and so when I smell things that remind me of her I'm like oh it's so nice. It smells really like fresh and just amazing. Um, so it's one of their new spring scents so I got that one. And then we also have a little candle that sits on our kitchen worktop but the one we've got down there just now is from Neptune and it's basically run out. So I picked up a new one, oh that sounded horrible, <laughs> which is there wild mint peppermint and white tea candle and i just love this like it's probably a bit bright to show you if you can kind of see there it's kind of like engraved in ceramic with the um smell oh it smells so nice it smells so fresh and then it comes with this really nice ceramic lid so i thought that was nice for the kitchen so yeah johnny is on his way back from work which is nice because i haven't seen him all day and even though i live with him i miss him all the time when I'm not with him. So this, oh no, it wasn't from Neptune, it was from Mason Louis Marie. Um, it's a candle brand, it's the most amazing candle brand, honestly, ever. But this one is basically done, so I'm gonna pop this in the bin and pop out a new one. This is our little kitchen candle set up. We always have a, oh my God, that tan looks horrendous on camera. <laughs> we always have a candle and then we have a rose quartz and then we have some moonstone, just, um, we love candle, uh, crystals and I think it really really like sets the tone for the house um so it's nice that we have this little setup here then over on our shelves over here I mean it's a very big ugh, the shelves are so awkward to be honest like it's a lot of shelf area to try and cover um with nice candles so I'm gonna put it I'm not sure what on this side we have our big um diptyque one and we have like this shelf which is fine down here we have this candle and then on this side we have this one which are both kind of like decorative evening candles i just pulled out the winter one the other day because this kitchen was smelling of food so i think i might put this one back up the top and then pop this white company one probably here i mean it doesn't work perfectly at all <laughs> we have our decorative one and then we have our one that scents and this honestly will smell out the whole um room so that's why i love these ones so much and yes they're 60 pounds but i definitely think they are worth 60 pounds so now for the rest of the evening I am going to clean my office, which I say in every single vlog, every single day. Um, let me show you it. Need to sort this out <laughs> um, and just kind of make this look a little bit more presentable. I'm going to pack for tomorrow and then up to London um, for a lash appointment at my favourite people in the whole world, Fox and Vamp. And then I'm going to just go like shopping, I think. So I might take you with me. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. So let me just tidy up this office. <laughs> Be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely we could be gazing at the stars but now it feels just like i wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me i never gave the key to you even though i wanted to okay so my office is all clean well, as clean as it's going to get. I have my candles on, I have my diffuser on, which is really annoying because it's like a very ugly, light-changing diffuser, but there's not much I can do about that. Um, but yeah, I just put it on for like the next 40 minutes. I make the office smell all lovely, and then I'll turn it off. I mean, look at it, it's green. Can you see that? No, it's blue. Um, yeah, I'll make it make the office smell really nice, and then I'll sit down and do some work and turn it off, and my office will smell really lovely. Okay, so, um, Johnny just got home from work. Oh. Seven, quarter past seven on Quarter Friday. past seven. I already said in this vlog how much we missed you. Um, and it's like a thing with Johnny and I, like I ask him to buy me wine and he doesn't buy me wine and then I sulk with him. <laughs> but tonight... That only ever happened once, is the only time I didn't do it and I found out the repercussions. You never buy me wine, ever. I buy you wine every other No, you don't, no, you don't. Other... Anyway, I asked him to bring back a bottle of wine and he came back with six bottles of champagne. So I can't really complain. I also can't really enjoy it because I'm up to London so early tomorrow. You but don't I'll have to drink them all at once, Nadia. They can't I'll have um, a few glasses. So I've got Beanie, a new toy, which yeah. he loves. He's a piglet. 
Oh, Mr. Bean. Oh. He only wants to play with it when humans got it. Oh, he's crazy. Anyway, I think I'm going to sign off the vlog here. Um, if you go not to London, why don't you vlog in London? Well, because it's already like half an hour long. So I was going to vlog tomorrow in London, but I think this vlog is already super long. So it's just turned into a very chilled out homey vlog and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, everything, as per usual, will be linked down below in the description box. So anything you want to find or um, have a look at. Clothes, makeup, anything else I've mentioned. Candles, they'll all be down there. Um, so head down there. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. I'm gonna say goodbye. Smash that. And this is Sunday when you guys are watching this actually. I don't know what button so, to press. I hope you've all had a really lovely weekend, and we will see you next week. <laughs>